Windows Server 2008 Voices. Planning the installation of Voices during the installation of Voices. You will have to make several critical decisions. Update source Voices can obtain updates directly from Microsoft Update or another Voices server on your network. Generally, you should choose the method that you can get more bandwidth. The adoption and replication configuration has multiple servers and configure WSIS servers to download updates one of its WSIS server. You can also choose to synchronize the approval settings, teams and groups from the WSIS server. Update WSIS store can copy the updates from Microsoft and store locally or direct client computers. To download updates directly from Microsoft, if you choose to store updates locally, the WSIS server requires at least 6 GB of free disk space, although the actual number may be much higher depending on the number of updated versions of Microsoft and how many languages are required. Store updates locally. You can reduce update bandwidth of internet, allowing clients to retrieve updates via the LAN database by default, which stores the list of updates, including updates you want to deploy, and other settings, in an internal database of Windows. The WSIS installation process requires at least 3 GB of free disk space to store the internal database of Windows. Although the actual size is close to 1 GB, the internal database of Windows that works for most purposes, but you can also use a database server exists, as a Microsoft SQL server, on the local computer or a remote computer website. WSIS requires IIS for client computers retrieve the updates using HTTP or HTTPS languages to minimize the use of disk space. You should choose to download only the languages that are required by client computers that access the WSIS server. Products Microsoft Update can provide updates for a wide variety of products other major operating systems windows. For example, Microsoft Update distributes updates for Exchange Server, ISA Server, SQL Server and Office. Select only the applications and operating systems used in your organization to minimize the disk space required. How to install Windows Server Update Services which is, is a free download. After installation you must synchronize the updates from Microsoft Update using the following steps. 1. Click Start, Administrative Tools and then Microsoft Windows Server Update Services. The Update Services console appears. 2. In the console tree, select the server name. In the Details pane, click Synchronize Now link. The synchronization may take several minutes, and could take over an hour. After synchronization is complete, you can start managing WSIS. Configuring Windows Server Update Services after installing WSIS and start synchronization. Configure WSIS. Follow these steps. 1. Adjust settings for WSIS editing options. 2. Configure groups of computers that allows you to distribute updates to different sets of computers at different times. 3. Configure client computers to retrieve updates from the WSIS server. 
4. After the test updates. To approve or reject. 5. View reports to verify that updates are being distributed with success and identify any problems.